Friday morning at 8 o'clock on this April 17th. Nice, cool, overcast morning. I think it was 65 degrees when I left the house this morning. It's a very slight breeze. Very, very comfortable. I saw one other kayaker out here fishing. And that's pretty much it. A couple people fishing from the pier. Not not much activity yet. Tide is very low. I'm going to check out the tunnel up here just to see if I can get through. this first tunnel. I'm hitting bottom here. You see signpost number four up there. I, I can get a little closer but I can see that it's just too shallow up there. So I'll stay to deeper water today. The tide is pretty much at the low point right now. It should start coming back in at some point. No tunnels for now. This is about as shallow as I've seen it. that spoonbill flying by. I'd like to get a good picture of one today if I can.
upland on, I believe this island is called Gooch Island. I'm going to explore it a little bit today. Large upland area on Googe Island. Looks like it's definitely been camped in. I see some old fire pits that have been filled in. I don't know what this buoy is marking. Yeah, this is definitely an old camping area. Look at this, there's even a table over here. <laughs> Goodness. Very interesting. Old bottle. Huh. Wild. There certainly aren't any signs that say no camping or no trespassing, so it may be allowed here may be a popular place in the winter time. There's even a large oak tree right over there. Pretty cool. Okay, back down to my kayak. That was a, this is a pretty neat island to explore. Definitely there's a lot of camping going on at, at one time. I don't know if that's still the case or not. It's pretty neat. There's Phoenician Isles way over there. I lived there back in the 70s. Back to my Oru kayak. Still here. <laughs> well, that was a cool experience. Got to check out Googe Island. Who knows? If I can find a place to park overnight, I might do a little camping here next winter. It'd be a pretty cool experience, something different. But I'm not sure where I can park. We Nine Island Reserve, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no overnight camping or parking. Uh, I'll have to explore that possibility. the tide and the wind right here. It's tough. I 
just wanted to get a look at the bay. I should get a little relief from the wind if I get close enough to this island up here. The wind's coming straight at me. All that rough, even though the wind is blowing pretty strong right now. We'll probably pick up in a little bit. Now I'm getting a little relief from the wind. Islands acting as a wind break a little bit. Time for a snack. Time for an apple. <laughs> doing right I am lots of videos and pictures oh, right. <laughs> oh I didn't even bring mine tunnel. Actually, this is called Christmas Island Pass. According to the map that I've seen before. So I have about a half hour left to get to the floating dock. I'm pretty much done for the day. This will be a close to a four hour paddle. I haven't been out in a week, so this is quite enjoyable. These are the first kayakers that I've seen since the very beginning of the day when I saw the one fisherman. Oh, I did see one lady on a paddleboard in the distance. And that's been it. A few fishing boats out here today. But it's not very crowded at all. Now tomorrow, Saturday, will be a different story. <laughs> I'm going to avoid weekends here 
all costs. When I first started this morning, I would not have been able to get through here. But the tide has come up uh, maybe a foot since then, maybe a foot and a half. It's not bad at all. Cruising along here pretty pretty good right now. It's really open right back there. I'm not sure why. It must have been a huge mangrove that eventually died. Left an open space. See another kayaker up here with a pedal, I mean, pedal kayak, pedal powered. And he's fishing. That's an Oru kayak, folding kayak. Yeah. Very lightweight. No. I wish. <laughs> I've seen a lot of those out here. Any what? I'm sorry? Oh, no, I haven't. I, I saw some snook today. There. No, that's right. I haven't seen mullet. I don't know where they're at. Yeah, you too. Good luck. Thanks.